What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to live stream professionally using Twitch Studio. So let's get started, obviously, right after the intro. So right now I would like to introduce you guys to own3d.tv, the ultimate website to get your resource for live streaming, whether it's overlays, alerts, alert sounds, panels, stinger transitions, sub emotes, sub badges, bit badges, website for streamers, an avatar maker, everything that you need to get started live streaming is on this website. No matter if you're looking for streaming overlays, gaming overlays itself, talking overlays, webcam overlays, stream panels, stream banners, these panels when somebody donates that pops up during your live stream. Every Everything is on this website, guys. They have a ton of excellent ranked reviews on Trustpilot as well. Everything comes in high quality that you can download right away, guys. It is really cool. Check the link in the description. Start downloading today and improve your live streams. Now, let's continue with the video. Okay, guys. So as you can see right now, we are in Twitch Studio. And I'm going to show you guys, obviously, how to live stream professionally. And that is by having, like, a really, really cool layout with a face cam border, a stream layout with panels, everything like that. So first of all, we're going to head over to the website, own3d.tv. And like I've showed you in the intro, this is basically what you can actually download from the website. It is really, really cool stream panels. So I'm just going to download a couple of them that I think that, that are, like, fitting my live stream. So so I'll come back to you guys in just a second when I collected every asset. Right now I have a face cam border ready and also a streaming overlay. Now I want to mention that this is just one of the countless assets you can find on the website besides these ones obviously. So in order to actually you know put those into Twitch Studio it is going to be very simple. We're going to work with layers. So we're going to click right here on this plus icon. Then we want to basically insert an image because we have a face cam border that's a PNG image that's a format of a photo so we're going to click on image so then on the right we have to choose the image obviously and right now we have all kinds of images already stock into twitch studio but we're going to pick browse because we're going to pick our custom one so right here this is our face cam border so we're going to just double click on it and we're going to hit select and as you can see right now this is our face cam border if i drag this across it will actually mess up it will not mess up the resolution whatsoever so you can drag it this way it's not going to look right now like a rectangle or like a square it will just stay the same resolution so then we can choose where we want to locate our face cam. The most obvious locations are in the corner. It's not going to match our stream overlay. So we're going to put this one aside for a second and we're going to also insert our streaming overlay. So we're going to make a new layer and we're going to also pick an image and then we're going to hit browse on the very right and we're going to pick our streaming overlay. Okay, right here it is. As you can see, we're going to hit select and right now it is just a matter of basically cropping this and stretching this and just drag this bigger until it looks very awesome and nice like that. So it's also centered as well. Okay, so in order to actually put our face cam somewhere, we're going to put it down below. So we're going to place our face cam in the bottom right corner and you want to pay attention that you're not covering up any important things of your gameplay. Let's say that your score at the bottom is visible, but your face cam is underneath it. Just place it then on the left side of the screen so you're not covering up anything important. And also to stream professionally on Twitch with Twitch Studio it is also important that you have the right settings. Now, back in the day, you would actually use this OBS estimator that you would have to fill in your, your like internet speed and your hardware and all that, but that's not really the case anymore because right now in Twitch Studio, you can actually get the right settings. So we're gonna click on these three stripes at the top. We're gonna click File and we're gonna hit Settings. And if you wanna see a dedicated video all about the settings, like that we're really gonna go in detail and all that, make sure to check out this card right here so you guys can check out the video, especially for the settings. But it comes down to going to to stream right here and then you want to click on reoptimized settings and then it's going to do a little internet speed and then it's going to basically get the right settings based on what you have in terms of like your internet speed your upload speed obviously and the hardware that you're running So the bandwidth test is good and obviously the hardware check is also right now testing and right now it looks like I'm ready to stream on 720p 30fps. And we also get a warning that says like your stream may appear choppy or blurry due to internet connection and hardware but it's actually just estimating.
Okay, as you can see right now, my hardware check is poor, but that's because I'm running all kinds of at, like recording softwares such as Audacity. I'm running OBS to record my screen at 60 FPS, 1080p. So that's why my hardware is also in use by that. But if I turn everything off, the hardware check is obviously gonna be good as well. So right now you can just click on apply settings and right here it says 480p, 60 FPS, but you can also optimize that if you want to, to go for example, like 1080p, 60 FPS. And you can also stream, for example, on 60, 50, 30, or 20 FPS. It really depends on your system and what you personally want yourself. Then it's going to fill in the bit rate, which is going to be 6,000. Now, if that's going to like a little, be, a little bit too high, you can also lower that to, for example, 4,500, 3,500, 3,000, 2,800, or 2,200. So now you guys know like how to create this amazing overlay, get a face cam border, have the right settings. And obviously we have tons of tutorials more to come about how to insert all these alerts when somebody donates, or how to stream on the right time. So all that's coming soon guys so make sure to stay tuned for that because we have a lot more coming so guys if you want to stream professionally get yourself this awesome streaming layout face cam border and obviously in the upcoming episodes we're going to cover like these donation alerts how to add in an actual face cam a webcam not just a border but i'm just going to save that for future episodes guys this is going to be it make sure to stay tuned we have eight more episodes more to go where i'm going to cover everything from start to finish so this is how to stream professionally this is just a basic of a professional live stream and this is how to do it. So guys, that's it for this video. Make sure to go ahead and check out own3d.tv for all the assets that you need in terms of like live streaming and all that. Thanks a lot for them for sponsoring this video. I want to thank guys for watching. If you like this video, smash the like button down below and subscribe for more tutorials and I will see you guys obviously in my next video.